Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. Today, we're going to talk about how to compare some snapshot images all from the CLI. Find out more right after this. So in this episode, what we want to do is we want to look at some snapshots and see how we can compare these snapshots. So you can see here from the web seal, I have a lot of snapshots, but if I wanted to compare them, how can I do that? Let's do all that from the command line. So we're SSH back into our cluster. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to list out all of our snapshots. And so you can see that all of our snapshots are here. And so all my snapshots are on this IFS NASA directory. And you can see that I have an ID here that's specified to each one. And then also I have a default name here for the snapshot schedule name. And so if we wanted to compare a couple of these, so what is the difference between our first snapshot, so ID2, and let's just say that we wanted to compare it with ID20. What would be the difference between those two? And so there's a way that we can actually compare that. The first thing we want to do is let's just look and see what information is available if we just view that individual ID number. And so we can use our easy snapshot snapshots view and then just put in the ID number. You can also put in the name, but I have a default name that's a very long. So it's just easier for me with managing this smaller data set to just use that ID number. So let's see what information is available here. And so it gives us our path and our name. It's also going to tell us how much space it's holding up and when this snapshot was created, if it's locked or if it's going to expire. But there's not a lot of information in telling us what's actually in it, right? Because it's just a snapshot of a point in time. And so how do we compare this? So we want to take our snapshot ID number two and let's compare it to number 20 and see what data has changed. And so to do that, we'll be using a change list modification, but to do that, we'll have to kick off a job to start it. So I'm going to clear out the screen and let's type in our easy job. And so what we'll do is we'll do an easy job jobs start and we're going to create a change list. And so that's change list. We're going to put in the old snap ID. So the old snap ID was two and we're going to compare it with our newer snap. And so the newer snap ID was 20. And so we've started a job. And so if we wanted to go out and list it out, let's go ahead and view our change list. And so we'll use easy change list modification and we'll just use L to list out all our change list. We have a change list here for two underscore 20. And so this is going to be the change list that we just created that's comparing ID2 and ID20. Sometimes you'll get an in progress at the end, and that's just because the job is still processing, and so you can't view it just yet. So just come back and check it a few different times. But it looks like our job's complete here, so we can view those. And so to view it, we're just going to use dash A instead of L and that ID number, so two underscore 20. So easy change list mod dash A2 underscore 20. So we have a lot of information that's compared in this change modification between snapshot two and snapshot 20. One of the big things is we have two files that were created here that I was looking for. So this IFS NASA, I uploaded a facilities.csv. Then I also uploaded a reports.csv. And so you can see some of the timestamps and some of the other information. But if you're looking at this information, you're saying, man, this it's kind of hard to look at what's really the objective here. Well, this is a way that you can look and look at this change modification date from the CLI. But for the most part, this is really used by some other applications or through the Isilon 1FS API to be able to pull that information out. So if you're looking to write some kind of process that's going to look and compare these changes to move some of the backups, then you would use this. So the best way to look and see what all these different CLI flags and some of these path names are is to go back and look at the Isilon documentation. So if you look at the Isilon documentation, you can see what all these flags mean here so that if you're writing some kind of code or some kind of application that's using the API to kind of do a backup process or something like that, then you can use this information here. But if you're just looking quickly on how you want to see what changes happen between two different snapshots, you can definitely just use this and pull out some of the information. Like I said, the biggest thing for me is I wanted to see the different path names. So I wanted to see were there any files that are different in snapshot two versus snapshot 20. And we're able to see that here. Be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode of Isilon Quick Tips. And we'll see you next time.